I feel good. I'm happy to be in India, happy to be back in Chennai. And I'm really looking forward to this promotion. We, I just went through your uh, Twitter profile and you said that Team, team Thangalan will be visiting your cities. Uh, when was the first time you happened to come to India? Was it specifically for the film that you came to India or had you been here before? No, actually, funny enough, it wasn't an Indian film, it was an American film, but I there's an Indian director who's now Americanized. Um, um, his name is Tarsem Singh. And he did the film. Remember, he did a film called The Cell with Jennifer Lopez many moons ago. And he hired me to do this film, which has now become this kind of cult film and studied by film students around the world um, called The Fall. And it was the most amazing experience of my life because we shot in about, I don't know, about 25 countries, but the main country was India and, and, and South Africa second to that. But I was mainly in Rajasthan. So Jaipur, Udpur, Jodhpur, you know, Agra. And I was there, I was living in India for like six months. So every time I've come to India, it's never been a short spell. So there's this weird connection. I don't know what it is, but India or Indian filmmakers have formed a big part of my life. Sheikh Kapoor, is another big influence on me. And I spent a lot of time um, with him in, in the desert in Morocco with Heath Ledger. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different story. Um, but we had an amazing time. But there's this weird thing that I hadn't really thought about until I did this film with Par Ranjit. Because I asked all my other Western actor friends in either in England or in Hollywood, and none of them have had this experience with India. They've never, like maybe one has done one film an American film here, but they've never had this sort of weird, I wouldn't say consistent because it's three times, but the point I'm trying to make is, yes, I've been here before. I loved India. I have an affinity to it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about the people. I think you either come to India, you embrace it or you don't. There's no in between. And for me, it just feels like home. That's it. The first time you were here to shoot for the fall, that was around what time? 2000... 2001, 2001, roughly. Yeah. And for Thangalan, when did you come to India the first time for shooting? Oh, and how many days were you here for? About 100 years ago, I came. That's how long Thangalan took to shoot. It was, uh, so I came, I arrived, I remember it well. God, uh, so like October, October, beginning of October or something, 2022. And I finished in November, 2023. <laughs> now, thank you. Now there was a little break at the end where I came home. We all split off for three months because, you know, um, Chian and I, uh, Vikram and I, you guys know him as Vikram, don't you? Vikram, yeah, right. Vikram and I had sustained a lot of injuries um, in this film because we really pushed ourselves beyond. So we had a little break, two, three months just to recoup. And then we came back to pick up shot right at the end. Um, so yeah, if you're talking about total, we're talking about, that's a long, that's like a year and two months or a year and a month and a half, yeah. Your character, Lord Clement, he's the British general and who's at the center of the story. He wants, the native Indians of here, if I may say, to find this gold, the original Kolar gold mine story. Generally, when we have British characters, I mean, there has to be a little bias. <laughs> Let's say that, you know, that not every British character, even though they are an antagonist, they are mostly one note. Like they are the complete bad men or women. There is no in between. So knowing Paranjit's work, how amazing he is with crafting his characters, I want to understand how your character, Lord Clement, has been. What are the shades? Are there any shades? Or is he also just like one of those one-note people? That's a very good question. And that's one of the that's one of the best questions I've been, I'll be honest, that's one of the best questions I've been asked um, from when I started doing interviews. The reason it's so interesting and a good question is because when I first got hired by Ranjit, we had a long conversation because it wasn't like, I didn't audition for him, he just called me up. Well, he didn't call me, he called my agent and said, this guy's interesting, I want to work with him. When we had the chat, because I wanted to know 
you know, I was Tamil filmmaking and I had a certain knowledge of Bollywood, but not, not so much Tollywood. And so we talked and I said, listen, look, it's okay. I know how you guys portray English people there, British people. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. And he was like, no, 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 let me stop you. You don't know me as a filmmaker. So yeah, you are heavy. You're you're the dark and tech. So you and Vikram like are mirror opposites. But you you no, you're the same. You're sort of different sides of the same coin. With one, we kind of reflect each other. That's the first interesting part. So you're not just this cliche actor that comes in cliche English British actor comes in and says I'm. You know, like RRR, where you had all these cliches, it's a lot of in cliche English, right? All right, fine. Which is, has its place, um, that's fine. But he said to me, you have a good core. Your heart is good. In other words, but I'm not gonna show that. Like you'll see it in the film, you'll see those flashes of me trying to fight because I've had this rough existence. This life has dealt me these bad hands. So what you see is this product of that, but ultimately you see is a good man that's been turned bad. And then you've got the same with Vikram's character, but obviously I'm not going to spoil the end, but his is a different path. But we become possessed by the desire, the need in this greed to obtain gold. Um, so no, when I'm hoping if I've done my job and the editing's all good, you will see the levels of, You'll see the darkness and, and the, the, that level of, you know, um, antagonist, anta um, sort of antagonistic behavior. But you should also see that he's a, he's, he's a genuine man who feels things and he's not this. What he becomes is that's that. But the point is, you're absolutely right. Ranjit made a point of saying, I want you to be one of the first actors, British actors, to do something different in Indian cinema. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, I wanted to do something different with you. Now, if that works, that would be amazing for me to be one of the first to have a lead in a film that's just not going to be your token. He comes from a hard place. He understands local communities. He understands the streets. He understands people. He works on psychology. But he said to me, you strike me as someone who is strong and different to maybe... He didn't want an actor who turns up, who has a really rough time, and we had a rough time. We were filming some very hard conditions, and then phones up their agent and says, oh, I can't do this. He was looking for something a bit more, and he was worried because Indian actors are very, I have a huge amount of respect for Indian actors because they do things above and beyond a lot of the time. Uh, their Western counterparts who will have their stunt guys step in straight away. Oh, they can't get their hair messed up, or they can't do this. Whereas with me, it was like, look, you're going to be doing a lot of your own stunts. Are you happy? we have a stunt team. And I was like, yeah, please, let's do it. Let's go. Um, so he, I don't know. I've never asked him what he watched. Uh, that would be an interesting question to ask him. But he just said that he felt that I had the aptitude to do it. And he was a bit nervous about hiring a British actor. But um, we got on so well. And my, my co-stars... I was so lucky. I was so lucky. I kind of, I was really nervous as I thought Indian co-stars, big Indian stars, who, what, how they're going to treat me. And we just sort of, everyone got on really well and we had a good way of working with each other.